Hey guys, it's Amelia, but you can call me Milo, and today I'm filming my first video on my new YouTube channel in which I'm going to share my life with some of my animals as well as some educational videos on some native Australian wildlife. Today is the first episode of a new series called Oz Bio in which I'm going to bring in a special furry, feathered or scaly guest and tell you a little bit about who they are. So without further ado, let's get onto the video. I can't click. Our first guest is of the scaly category, and it is my absolute pleasure to introduce you all to my very own Lupin. <laughs> so I'm sure you can tell that this is a snake, but unless you're a reptile person like myself, you probably have no idea what kind of snake this is. Lupin is a spotted python, scientifically known as Anteresa maculosa. He's in the same family as children's pythons, Stimson's pythons, and pygmy pythons. If you're a novice reptile keeper in Australia, or you know a reptile keeper in Australia, they probably have something from this family. Lupin does go by a couple other names. He is also known as the Eastern Small Blotch Python, the Eastern Children's Python, and the Mottled Python. But um, most people know them as spotted pythons, so that's what I'm going to be calling him today. The spotted python is distinguished by the dark blotches that run along its vertebral zone. The blotches coalesce to form an irregular pattern with ragged edges. This is due to the fact that dark pigmentation occurs only on complete scales. Scales on the head are significantly larger with heat pits located on the lower labial area. The spotted python is generally light brown with a white cream underbelly and dark brown spots. Now, Lupin is indeed a python meaning that he is non-venomous and uses constriction to kill his prey. This snake could not hurt you even if he tried. He has actually helped a lot of people I know to get over their fear of snakes because characteristic of his species, he is super docile and generally just a massive sweetheart. Aren't you, even though you're strangling me right now? He's not actually strangling me right now, he's just holding on. Don't worry, he's not going to hurt me. In captivity, this species can live anywhere from 15 to 25 years, so they are a lifetime commitment if you choose to get one. They are also the largest member of the Anteresa family, growing up to 1.5 metres in length. Lupin is currently two years old and he is quite small for his age. He's not unhealthy or underweight, he's just a little dude. I've gotten it checked out, he doesn't have dwarfism or anything, and yeah, he's just a little snake. And no one really knows why, but I'm happy because he's really cute. In the wild, these guys are generally solitary and nocturnal. They are found all over the northeast coast of Australia, from Cape York down to northern New South Wales. And they can live pretty much anywhere, but they favour caves and rocky outcrops where they can find their favourite food. In the wild, adult spotted pythons love to eat bats. Yeah, you heard me right. Bats! The flying rat things! <laughs> So at night time, these guys will find the entrance to a cave and hang on a rocky outcrop or a tree and they'll hang with their head down. He's not going to do it right now, but they'll hang, there we go, like that. And then as the bat flies out of its cave at night in big numbers, they catch them as they fly underneath. So a bit of a shock for the bat, a bit of a tasty treat for the snake. When there aren't any bats around, these guys will also eat small reptiles, mammals and birds. Juveniles in particular will really like to eat lizards, no one's really sure why, but um, that's just what they like to eat. You, you'll have to ask him. One thing I absolutely love about pythons is the way that they take care of their eggs. All pythons are oviparous, meaning that they lay eggs that hatch outside of the mother's body, much like a bird will lay its eggs in a nest. Now what I find absolutely fascinating is that some species of python, after laying these eggs, will coil around them in order to protect them and physically shiver in order to keep them warm. This shivering is known as thermogenesis. Spotted pythons are one such species known to display this behaviour. The mother will stay with her eggs, keeping them safe and warm for an incubation period of well over two months. During this time, she effectively starves herself because she will not leave those eggs alone. Once they hatch, baby spotted pythons will all leave the nest together in a big group before going their separate ways in the big wide world. Now, Anteresa maculosa are extremely common in captivity. That's due to their overall very docile nature and the fact that they're quite a forgiving species. And now what I mean by that is that if your temperature gradient or your humidity is off by a couple of degrees, they won't drop dead like some of the more delicate species would. Um, so they're the perfect snake for beginners. 
Lupin was actually my first snake and I could not recommend this species anymore. If you're thinking about getting a snake, I highly recommend spotted pythons. They're just so beautiful. So yeah, these guys are perfect for beginner reptile keepers and I could not recommend you more, could I? So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. It genuinely means the world to me. I've been wanting to make this channel for such a long time and I'm really proud of myself for finally getting the guts to start it and now I just have to keep going. I know that this Sorry, my child is running away. Um, I know that this video probably isn't the best quality, but it can only get better from here on out. I'm going to improve as a person, as a filmer in front of a... That's not a word. But yeah, if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see from me in the future, please leave um, a comment down below. <laughs> if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see in the future, please leave a comment. Um, it would mean the world to me. And if this video was a little bit too information based for you, I get it. I kind of loaded you up with a lot of information, which to some people might have been a bit boring. So I do have some fun videos on the way. And um, yeah, if you are interested in this species of snake, I do have a care video coming out soon. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and please stick around. It can only get better from here on out. Thank you so much and I hope to see you next time. Bye.